I'm trying to talk him into getting a tarantula, you guys. Tell him he needs to get some tarantulas. Then again, everybody would go watch his tarantula content and he'd make us look bad because his enclosures are so good. Two weeks later. So I just ended up with the wolf spider. Sprinkling charcoal on top of this layer will help keep things clean. It'll likely burrow on its own. I wanted to get it started. I've named him. I knew this would happen. So Tanner, you think you can just come on this app and make all of us spider channels look bad? Not today. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing the ultimate upgrade for my Grandma Stola Pulchra adult female, Helena. She is one of my favorite tarantulas in my entire collection and she's also among one of the largest. Currently she resides in this Exoterra, but it is not my first choice of enclosure for her. I also really hate the fact that this enclosure has a mesh top, if you didn't know fine mesh like this can be a little dangerous for tarantulas because they can get their toes caught inside. Most of the tarantulas that I've housed in these never climb on top, but Helena, one of my biggest and bulkiest girls, has just insisted on climbing upside down on the top several times. We're, we're just kind of done with this enclosure. It's definitely time for an upgrade. Okay, so we have the enclosure, and let me just say that today's video is sponsored by none other than Tarantula Cribs. Tarantula Cribs is one of my favorite enclosures to house your spider in because their enclosures, unlike others, are made specifically with tarantulas and other spider invertebrates in mind. So this will be definitely a humongous upgrade. This is the, what is this? This is a new size. You guys have been saying you need bigger. Well, here we go. This is 18 by 12 by 12. So originally I was gonna rehouse her into one of the big cubes, but this is gonna be way better because she is not a tarantula that seems to like to dig very much. So I think that this will give her more space terrestrially and literally just be perfect. So these humongous things are now on the website if you want to grab one. Of course, you can always use my affiliate code. It's cat10, it'll save you 10%, which is a huge chunk. So yeah, this is gonna be my first time actually looking at this enclosure and trying it out and I can't think of any better circumstances to do so. So let's get right into this. a giant tarantula cribs enclosure. This is so nice. The acrylic is really, really thick as are all tarantula cribs enclosures. It looks like this is the same lid that goes on the cubes and I do know that you can swap the cube lids out for more or less ventilation depending on the species. Very, very secure magnets. Don't get your fingers caught. This is an upgrade. This is this is gonna be an upgrade, my goodness. So first we're gonna make a drainage layer. So we're gonna use these hydro balls. I did not get these from the pet store because the pet store did not have them. So I went to a weed growing store and guess what they had? I can't tell you what brand they are, but they look uh, about the same as usual. So. All right, and that looks good. But we don't want substrate to get in our drainage layer, so I just have this laying around. It's just like a very soft netting that I get and I use for when I make enclosures, like, and I need ventilation. So let's size this. I'm a girl and this is how we measure. And no, I will not be elaborating. This is just what we do. Seems like a good fit. So now let's do some substrate. We're gonna do some reptisoil. All right, we're gonna stop here for now. If we need to add more later, we can, but we've got lots of stuff to add in here and she is not really a burrower. I paid $25 for this. So this is really, really pretty and I think she'll enjoy hiding in the leaves and stuff. So for her hide, I found this giant piece of cork that I'm gonna break to kind of see how it looks and make it fit just right. I think first we'll start breaking right here. Something like this should be good because she can fit inside it and hide if she wants or she can just kind of sit on top of it. 
And we'll do it just like this. I like this. Let's do this plant. I think we should do this plant next. I think like right here would be like the most logical place to put it because it's just going to kind of grow across the whole enclosure. Now over here we have a little bit of empty space that I do want to fill up. So we're just going to use some frog moss. This is my favorite kind of moss to use. So of course we are going to need a water dish and I found this one, I love this one. It's really big, but it's also shallow. So I think we're gonna put this water dish right over here. Let's add a little bit more substrate here in this corner. And I'm just filling in the gaps with some substrate. So now we're just gonna do some like finishing touches here and I have some quartz. So we're just gonna stick it in the dirt around just like this. And these are like smooth too, so they won't, we don't have to worry about it like being pokey or anything. Wow, okay, I love this. But is this up to Serpa design quality? No, but it was fun and, and that's what's important, right? That we all had fun. Okay, <laughs> let's do springtails. Okay, so I am going to stop here uh, for now. I do want to add a rock right here, which she has in her enclosure still, so I'm going to add that in a minute. But now she has a hide that she can actually fit in and go into if she wants without having to dig because she just does not seem to dig. But yeah, let's go ahead and rehouse her and see what she does in this new enclosure. She's actually sitting right here. Now something about Helena, she loves to run. She is definitely a runner and a track star for being a Grandma Stola Polka, which makes me feel like I should probably have like something to catch her with. All right, Miss Helena. I guess I'm gonna grab this rock. This is the rock I was talking about. I just like this rock. I think she actually came with it when I bought her and I've just moved it with each enclosure. So see, it, it, it works really good. So we'll keep that in there. But yeah, there she is. And as you can see, man, she just does not have the room. <laughs> She really doesn't, so we're gonna give her some more room for sure today. Now, for tarantulas and most spiders, they actually don't need like a ton of space, which I've talked about this many times, the reasons why I have a whole video about it, but it doesn't hurt to give them more space. Oh, she is not in the mood today. Yeah, she is just not in the mood at all. I forgot to put leaf litter in there. I just realized I'm looking at her enclosure and I'm like, oh, there's leaf litter. We'll add some leaf litter. That's really easy to fix. See how she keeps turning around every time I tap her? That's kind of her being like, hey, leave me alone. Like, I don't want to do anything. But look how gorgeous she is. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous girl. There we go. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Get down, get down, get down, get down. What do you think? And she is in.
So I love how the enclosure turned out. Like I would absolutely be thrilled with it if I wasn't comparing it to Serpa design. <laughs> Ugh. But I think more importantly, Helena is happy with it. She got an upgrade from the cube to this. More space, better hiding spot, safer for her so she doesn't climb up there and, and fall and hurt herself. But I guess there's like a lesson here in today's video that I should not try to be serpent design because I don't make enclosures like this. I make enclosures like this. And that's okay. That's totally fine. That's what he does and this is what I do. But I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to get the new extra large tarantula cribs enclosure it's on their site now remember use affiliate code cat10 it'll save you 10% which is a huge chunk on a more expensive enclosure like this one is um, like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I'm an Instagram use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there I also have a patreon fourth wall a bunch of goodies links stuff in the description go check it out and I will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet picks